The scene of a shocking crime is now playing host to healing. Community members filled the Jimmy Lee Rec Center months after a 16-year-old boy was shot by an employee there. As Rin Clayton explains, the community is now using basketball to build relationships and to prevent another violent tragedy from happening again. To let that I think that caps are going to win. Eight-year-old Jeremiah Eason is preparing for a big game, literally. His team of kids are warming up to face the St. Paul Police Department. Very, very different. A lot different than... Because I play um, on my school team, but I never played against a police officer. Making a difference is Kadar Greer's goal. I needed some more energy. For his Stop the Violence basketball event. I see so much in kids. I see so much in the youth, and that's what it's about to me because when I was younger, I didn't have that many outlets, so I feel like this will be the perfect outlet for the kids. Can I get some love? The genesis of this project, which included guest speakers and arts performances, was the shooting at the Mall of America that took the life of Greer's friend, Jonte Hudson, in December. It made me look at life differently, like anybody can lose their life to something so tragic, and it made me feel like I had to be stronger and do something bigger for the community. It was also a chance for the community to come back out to the Jimmy Lee Rec Center, the site of another shooting in January. It's been quiet. People have been kind of getting into their, their, their fear shell. People just not believing in the community and, and just the neighborhood per se. Johnny Allen's organization manages the rec center. Throughout all the violence that has happened this past few months, we want to reaffirm the community that there are people out here that's trying to strive for a better place, peaceful neighborhoods, and loving, loving neighbors. Getting the ball rolling for a safer community. In St. Paul, Ren Clayton, WCCO4 News. Community is at the heart of high school athletics, and that's on full display at New Life Academy. While the school's boys basketball team was battling for a state championship, it got some support from a very special fan. Norman Seawright has that story. New Life Academy senior Sam Hansen just might be the boys basketball team's biggest fan. I'm really excited for them. I know they're out there on the court having the time of their life. They stepped up for her when she needed it the most. When someone, especially in your grade, has cancer, it's like a huge thing on everyone's mind. Well, they all know me. They know that I kind of just like to like keep to myself and just kind of do my own things. It's great to know that I had them on my side. A three-sport athlete, Hansen had to cut her final hockey season short to battle cancer. My coaches there were great. I was able to stay on as a manager, so I was still involved with the team, so that was really special to me. She played one hockey game this last winter during chemo, and it was exhausting, but super, super exciting for her to be able to be out there, and I think it helped her to get a little bit of closure. The Eagles are already tight, but the basketball team went above and beyond. Out raking leaves just to raise money for medical bills and things like that. We made various bracelets for her. We made uh, T-shirts. So she's showing that love back to them. But whenever the other team is trying to throw a free throw, you start hitting our chair like this, and it gets really loud because it's plastic. You just make all this noise and yeah. then just, just be loud as you can. Mm -hmm. But you're kind of soft-spoken. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you pull that off? You just, you um, I let the bigger guys in our class take the lead and just do their thing. Oh yeah, it means the world. I mean, obviously we're fighting for our state championship, but she was fighting for something way greater than that, fighting through cancer, like literally her life. Her latest tests have detected no cancer. Starting softball up right now. She's ready to get back out there and prepare for college at University of Northwestern and a career in the medical field. Yeah, I'm really ready. Norman Seawright, WCCO4 Sports. Ava and Jessica Lee are prep athletes from Maple Grove, but they don't compete in the high school league. Their sport, Taekwondo. It's something that takes them all around the world. Ren Clayton introduces us to this powerful duo. The first thing you typically learn is trayette, which is basically hands by your side, sitting up straight. And this is what you'll do before a match. And then kinye, which is bow. Then you bow down to show respect to your opponent. Taekwondo might not be Minnesota's most popular sport, but this dojong in Maple Grove is the home to some of the country's top up and coming talent. Winning a senior event at 16, it's crazy. I mean, it's not common, so I was very, 
proud of my results. Ava Lee recently moved up to fight elite competition. Her younger sister Jessica rose from cadet to junior level in that same tournament. Both took gold. It makes me a proud father, obviously, for them to achieve the things they have. But it is stressful. Their dad, Grandmaster Lee, knows the stress well. He has coached the U.S. Olympic team and now does the same for Haiti, who the sisters currently represent. From a young age, hours upon hours spent on this mat. It was great to be here like 24-7, just training always. Sometimes it was hard, you know, I'd want to stay home and play, but now I'm grateful that I kept doing it. Now it's paying off. The Pan Am Championships are coming up with worlds around the corner. That means a lot of travel. It's kind of like a rock star lifestyle. We're always uh, traveling, we're always training. It's also a lot of time together with your sister. Sure, we bicker, but I'm grateful to always have a training partner, you know, and she's my best friend, so. So is the goal to one day compete in the same Olympics together? Yeah, that, that would be pretty cool to be in the same Olympics as her, but I'm still very young, so. We'll take our back leg, hold it up for our chamber. A globe-trotting life. Kick out and key up, which is when you yell. Focused on one special skill. Aya! I'm so grateful that this is my life, and I wouldn't want to change any of it. In Maple Grove, Ren Clayton, WCCO4 Sports. Coming up, a walk around the entire world. How one Wisconsin man is making it happen for himself when we come back.